Deepin is one of the largest current narratives in crypto with huge potential. But what is Deepin? How does it differ from traditional infrastructure networks? What are its use cases, its advantages and potential? Some of the top Deepin projects to be aware of and potential risks and disadvantages of Deepin. That's what we'll be looking at in this video. So please do like the video and subscribe to the channel so I can continue to offer more content for you in future. Just a reminder that nothing contained here is financial advice. And let's jump straight in and take a look at what Deepin is in more detail. Firstly, what is Deepin? Well, Deepin stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks, and they represent a significant change in the way we think about and manage infrastructure. They're essentially open and decentralized infrastructure marketplaces, and they use cryptocurrency tokens as rewards to attract, incentivize, and reward real-world physical infrastructure operators to join their networks. Because physical infrastructure assets are tokenized, allowing for fractional ownership and easier transfer of assets. This allows a more democratic investment landscape where individuals can participate in infrastructure projects without the need for large capital outlays. And because Deepin uses blockchain technology, this increases decentralization, distributing control and ownership among a broader base of participants, promoting greater transparency as everything's recorded on the blockchain and is immutable, reducing costs, increasing efficiency by eliminating intermediaries and automating processes through smart contracts and mitigating the risks associated with single points of failure, moving away from the traditional centralized models that we're used to because traditional infrastructure networks are typically centralized with a few large entities controlling the development, management, and maintenance of infrastructure assets. This centralization can lead to inefficiencies, high costs, and a lack of transparency, which is what Deepin tries to solve. So to summarize, Deepin networks aim to disrupt traditional infrastructure models by allowing anyone to participate or invest in the creation and maintenance of infrastructure projects. These projects can range from decentralized energy grids to smart cities, providing a more accessible and efficient way to manage physical infrastructure. And we'll take a look at some of these use cases very soon in this video. And part of the reason why Deepin has become such a large narrative in recent times is that it integrates blockchains decentralized nature with physical infrastructure, thereby offering greater transparency, efficiency, and resilience compared to the traditional systems. But again, we'll take a look at the pros of Deepin a bit later in this video. Deepin's total market cap is over $21 billion at the time of recording this video, according to CoinGecko. And you can see here that Deepin had the fourth highest returns in the first half of 2024 at about 59%, being behind meme coins, which were huge, real world assets and AI, but had larger returns than layer ones, GameFi, DeFi, layer twos, ETH and BTC. So moving on, what are some actual use cases of Deepin? Well, Deepin's use cases are vast, and let's just look at three here in this video. Firstly, smart cities, which aim to improve urban life by using data and technology to enhance the efficiency of city services and infrastructure. Deepin networks can support the development of smart cities by providing a decentralized platform for managing urban infrastructure. For example, decentralized networks can manage traffic systems, public transportation, waste management, and more. And by decentralizing these services, cities can ensure they are efficient, cheaper, transparent, and more responsive to the needs of the community. Secondly, decentralized energy grids are another area where Deepin can have a significant impact. Traditional energy grids are often centralized 
and vulnerable to failures and inefficiencies. However, decentralized energy grids, powered by deep in networks, can distribute and repurpose energy production and management across a network of participants. This approach enhances the resilience of the grid, reduces costs, and better enables the integration of renewable energy sources. Decentralized energy grids can allow individuals to generate and sell energy back to the grid, and this reduces the reliance on large centralized utilities. So there is an environmental advantage to Deepin and blockchain technology here, which a lot of people often overlook. And finally, let's look at decentralized internet services because deep in networks can also provide decentralized alternatives to traditional internet infrastructure. Decentralized internet services can offer more resilient and censorship resistant connectivity. For example, projects like Helium are using Deepin to build decentralized wireless networks that provide internet connectivity through a distributed network of nodes. And we'll take a look at Helium again a bit later in this video. But this approach not only reduces the reliance on centralized ISPs or internet service providers, clouds, and servers, but also provides a more robust and scalable internet infrastructure. And other use cases of Deepin can include wearable devices that give you health data and provides you with tokens in return, such as this ring by QDIS, or a browser extension that allows AI labs and web scrapers to use any available network space you have and reward you with tokens in return, like the Grass browser extension for example. And finally, how about a demo device or app for your car that provides you with real-time data about your car and driving, but which also makes this anonymized data available to third parties, and again, pays you tokens as a reward for doing this. So hopefully that gives you just a taste of the use cases of Deepin. Given that there are apparently 1,527 Deepin projects out there now, according to Deepin Ninja. And we've already seen some of the large advantages and growth of Deepin over traditional infrastructure models in this video. But let's now summarize these here, because one of the most significant benefits is the accessibility of infrastructure investment. So by tokenizing infrastructure assets, Deepin networks allow individuals to invest in and benefit from infrastructure projects spreading the financial burden and rewards more equitably. Deepin networks also offer enhanced transparency and accountability because all transactions and operations are recorded on a public blockchain, making it easier to track the flow of funds and ensure that resources are being used efficiently. This transparency can help build trust among participants and attract more investment into infrastructure projects. Another advantage is the increased efficiency and reduced costs associated with Deepin networks. By leveraging smart contracts to automate processes and eliminate intermediaries, Deepin networks can streamline operations and reduce overhead costs. This efficiency can translate into lower costs for infrastructure development and maintenance, making it more feasible to undertake large scale projects. Deepin networks are also more resilient than traditional infrastructure models because by decentralizing control and distribution, these networks reduce the risk of single points of failure and enhance the overall robustness of the infrastructure. This resilience is particularly important in critical infrastructure sectors like energy and telecommunications where failures can have widespread and significant consequences. Let's now take a look at three specific Deepin projects in a bit more detail. Firstly, let's look at Helium, with its ticker being HNT, which at the time of recording this video has the 88th largest market cap in crypto, standing at over $855 million, and whose white paper was released all the way back in 2018. Helium is a decentralized wireless network powered by blockchain technology. The network allows individuals to set up hotspots 
that provide internet connectivity and rewards them with HNT tokens for their contribution. And you can have one of these nodes at home, a bit like a wireless hub to support the network and receive tokens in return if it's used. Helium's decentralized approach reduces the reliance on traditional ISPs or internet service providers, clouds or servers, and provides a scalable, resilient network. Secondly, let's look at Filecoin with its ticker FIL, which is a decentralized storage network that allows users to rent out unused storage space. By leveraging blockchain technology, Filecoin provides a secure, efficient, and cost-effective alternative to traditional cloud storage services. The network's decentralized nature ensures data is stored across multiple nodes, enhancing security and reliability. Filecoin's impact on the cloud storage industry could therefore be large, offering a more decentralized and resilient option for data storage, especially when you consider that Filecoin is the deep in cryptocurrency with the largest market cap currently, and is 40th largest of all cryptocurrencies at the time of recording this video, at about $2.4 billion. And thirdly, let's take a quick look at BitTensor with its ticker TAO, which is a quite complex deep in and AI cryptocurrency project, but is an open source decentralized neural network that integrates blockchain technology with AI to allow and improve a network of machine learning models. It allows the exchange and collaboration of AI services in a peer-to-peer -peer network, encouraging competition, improvement, and rewards nodes with TAO that contribute to the network. Use cases of BitTensor are almost endless, but include finance through market forecasting, risk analysis, portfolio management, healthcare through medical diagnosis, drug discovery, treatment plans, and automation and analytics, such as virtual assistants, data analysis, etc. Its tokenomics were inspired by Bitcoin, with a max supply of 21 million TAO tokens. And it has the 46th largest market cap at the time of recording this video, standing at over $2.3 billion. However, despite its many advantages, Deepin isn't without its risks, with one of these being regulatory uncertainty. Because as Deepin networks operate across borders and jurisdictions, they might face different regulatory requirements that could hinder their development and adoption. Governments and regulators might also be wary of the decentralized nature of these networks. Another significant risk of DPIN is the technical complexity associated with implementing and maintaining DPIN networks, because these systems require sophisticated technology and infrastructure, which can be challenging to develop and deploy. Also, ensuring the security and reliability of these networks is crucial and challenging as any vulnerabilities could be exploited by malicious actors. Market volatility is another risk that could impact deep in projects because the value of cryptocurrencies and tokens associated with deep in networks can obviously fluctuate significantly, potentially affecting the financial stability of these projects. For example, this volatility can make it difficult to attract and retain investment, as well as manage operational costs. And the last challenge for DPIN I would highlight is adoption, because they need to demonstrate improvements and benefits over traditional systems and market these well to succeed and achieve broader market adoption. But that ends this video looking at DPIN. And as always, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below about it. And if you're interested in more of a tailored approach to your crypto education, and you think you'd benefit from having someone look over your shoulder and guide you on your journey, I do offer one-to-one -one coaching to those who have the desire and the means to educate themselves further. And there are links in the description where you can message me and book in a free video call to see if we'd be a good fit. And if you found this content interesting, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help and have a great day.